morning everybody it's 6 40 a.m the 9th <clears throat> january 2018 uh, we're gonna make this quick we're just about to the shop i know how much you guys love the truck videos uh, judging from the massive number of view that each one gets one or two views each <clears throat> but hey listen uh, i'm gonna give you an example and then get to my point the company I'm at now is the third company that I've been at that uh, I have helped grow from basically nobody to a bunch of employees, from no revenue to a bunch of revenue. And during that process, I found uh, that there seems to be three stages for me. The first stage is where nothing but work clothes. And when I mean work clothes, I mean Carhartt carpenter pants, a Dickies t-shirt, and a hooded sweatshirt or whatever. You know, clothes you get dirty in. Right? Because that's the type of work that's required. The technician work. Right? Then as you build on the technician skill set and you start generating revenue, Eventually, you get to the point where you have a product or a system that's marketable, and then you move from there. The next stage is you still wear work clothes, but you keep nice clothes, business clothes, in your truck. You know, maybe you have a, a monogrammed polo shirt in the back, or a nice button down shirt, and some, you know, a pair of boots that doesn't look like they were run over by an 18 wheeler whatever, right? You have your nice clothes with you so that if you need to go be presentable and talk to a potential client, you can. Although I will submit, depending on the client that you're talking to, sometimes having a little dirt under your fingernails is a good thing because uh, I believe it shows you have some integrity. You're not just there to spew a bunch of bull crap to get somebody to buy something from you, you know? And having the technician background allows you to speak in Informatively and passionately about what you do, you actually know the ins and outs of your product or your system or whatever it is that you're selling, right? It's much more believable coming from somebody who's actually done it than it is from somebody who's just trying to sell it, right? So anyway, phase two is work clothes with nice clothes on standby. And that's where I've been at Vine and Branches here for... Uh, year and a half two years phase three is nice clothes on all the time work clothes in the truck where you get into more of a management role slash entrepreneurial role but you can go back to the technician at any point when the need arises that if your teams are swamped and they literally just need an extra set of hands you know how to do it and you have your tools you know just step into the bathroom, throw a work shirt on, get dirty, make stuff happen. So phases one, two, and three for me of business growing, this is the third business that I've been involved in. Um, the first two were different industries, but bu business is business, right? It's like whether you make widgets or, you know, you weld up a pipe fence, whatever it is, it's kind of the it's the same principles applied differently depending on the situation. But anyway, we're getting to the point here at Vine and Branches uh, where fairly soon I'm going to be nice clothes all the time with just a little bit of work clothes on standby, which is always kind of the pinnacle. It's where you want to get when you're a guy like me. Um, basically second in command handling handling the operational aspects of the business right it, it's a it's a significant benchmark and milestone however part two of this video is don't let people put you in a box and what i mean by that is pretty quick i'm gonna have to start dressing like a decent human being again and frankly i hate that i i would much rather wear a pair of well broken in jeans with a freaking, I'm sorry, there was something glowing just floating out the window, like up in the atmosphere, out my window, okay, 
I'd much rather wear a broken in pair of jeans with a skull can ring, you know, smushed into the back pocket and, uh, you know, a pair of nine inch Klein line pliers stuck in the other back pocket. Like that's, that's just who I am, right? I like to have, you know, wear Carhartt t-shirts tucked in with my sleeves rolled up and that is not appropriate business attire for an office place or for a sales meeting with somebody. It's just not. And I freaking hate that. I, I'm not that person. I used to go to these uh, big project, preliminary project planning meetings in the utility industry and be all decked out, suit and tie, beard all cleaned up nice and We'd be sitting there at these conference tables, a dozen people in the room, going over the fine points of the proposals and this and that and blah, 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 and speak eloquently about, well, well, you see what you need is you need uh, this particular type of backfill because it lowers the uh, thermal row, which increases the ampacity of the cable, which allows you to use a smaller conductor. So because of the increased ampacity, that lowers your cost per foot. So actually you make that a blah, 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 right? And just go on and on and on about these things and then invariably at about 10 a.m somebody would say well why don't we take a quick break a restroom break and those of us that are smokers can go outside and grab a cigarette and I would step outside and take my suit jacket off and slow and roll up the sleeves on my shirt and people would be looking at the heathen tea covered in tattoos and literally look at me and go I can't believe you're the same guy that was just in there all you know talking nice and sharp dressed and all of that because frankly it's a facade and I hate, hate having to be that guy because it's not me. It's not genuine. Um, so it's with some uh, animosity is not the word, nor is anxiety, but I'm reluctantly stepping into phase three here at Vine and Branches because I know at that point it means that I have to act like a civil person around the civil people and be less of a technician and more of a manager and more of an entrepreneur. Uh, Phase one is always technician. Phase two is generally manager and phase three is generally entrepreneur. And if you don't get those references, really, if they don't really make sense to you, uh, read The E-Myth Revisited by Gerber. It's a business book. But anyway, point being, I'm there now, and I don't want to be in that box. And I'm, frankly, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna dress more appropriately for the position or the role I'll be fulfilling at this point. But uh, I think this time around, we're gonna go with the same old T. I just have to try and limit the number of four-letter words that fly out of my mouth because I'm not only representing uh, my company, but I'm also representing my belief system. And so that's something to be cognizant of as well. But point being, don't let anybody put you in a box. Uh, If you don't want to wear the nice work clothes or the nice uh, dress clothes, business casual attire, whatever, don't. If you're happy being the technician, be the technician. And uh, it's kind of got me wondering myself. Maybe, uh, maybe it's time to just just stay with the technician slash manager phase, phases one and two, rather than phase three. The kicker is phase three is where the real money's at. So you have to basically come to the realization that you're going to trade your. Uh, personal preferences and comfort for an increased um, rate of compensation and are you willing to play that game? I don't know. Myself personally, um, I hate money. However, I wish that I had so much of it that I never had to worry about it ever again. So, short of winning the Powerball, it looks like we're st- we're stepping into phase three, and we'll see what happens from there. But those are my morning thoughts for you guys today. Don't get shoved in a box. Don't let anybody put you in a box just based upon how you look um, or what you have to wear. There's a lot of guys that I know that look great in a $3,000 suit, 
real nice guys, great guys. You know, they can they can business business schmuck with the best of them. And God forbid you were ever on the wrong side of a rifle from them. I mean, they would tear your ass up because they're heathen warriors. So looks aren't everything. You never know what's lying underneath that thin uh, facade of civility that's usually, you know, finely woven cotton or silk or some other amorphous blend of polycarbonates. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Don't be judged. Don't be put in a box. Um, unless it's to your tactical advantage. Unless you're using it for the element of surprise. Because nothing beats an ambush. Action beats reaction every time. I got to get inside here and uh, start my day. So y'all have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later.